it's already the middle of April and we all want to know where are mortgage rates headed? We're going to talk about it. Stay tuned. Hey neighbors, Catherine Newman, local real estate agent with Allison James. And please do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel so I can keep you up to date on a weekly basis about all things real estate related. So coming into this year, most experts projected mortgage rates would gradually increase and in 2022 in the high 3% range. Well, it's already April and rates have already blown past those numbers. Uh, as a matter of fact, Freddie Mac announced last week that the 30 year fixed rate mortgage was already at 4.72%. Danielle Hale, chief economist at Realtor.com, she tweeted on March 31st and said, continuing on the recent trajectory, would have mortgage rates hitting 5% within a matter of weeks. Well, just five days later after she tweeted that, on April 5th, the Mortgage News Daily quoted a rate of 5.02%. I refuse to believe that. So no one knows how swiftly mortgage rates will arise moving forward. However, at least to this point, they have not significantly impacted purchaser demand. This is the 86th house they've bid on. This is a real problem. I know. Who is buying all of these places? Oh, a pocket listing. Lynn Wolf, who is a chief economist at Zonda, explains um, mortgage rates jumped much quicker and much higher than even the most aggressive forecast called for at the end of last year. And yet housing demand appears to be holding steady. Through February, home prices, the number of showings, and the number of homes receiving multiple offers all saw a substantial increase, believe it or not. However, um, much of the spike in mortgage rates occurred in March. We are not going to know the true impact of the increase of the mortgage rates until the March housing numbers become available in early May. So stay tuned. Um, Rick Sharga, who is the uh, executive vice president of market intelligence at Adam Data, recently put rising rates into this context. Quote, Historically, low mortgage rates and higher wages helped offset rising home prices over the past few years. But as home prices continue to soar and interest rates approach 5% on a 30-year fixed rate loan, more consumers are going to struggle to find a property that they can comfortably afford. And we are seeing that right now. Uh, while no one knows exactly where rates are headed, experts do think they'll continue to rise in the months of head in the months ahead, and that's what we've all been saying uh, for several months. In the meantime, if you're looking to buy a home, know that rising rates do have an impact. As rates rise, it'll cost you more when you purchase a house, and if you're ready to buy now, it makes more sense to do so sooner rather than later. Geez, you know, that information might have been a little more useful to me yesterday. And please don't hesitate to contact my office so I can help you find your next home, whether you live in this uh, area already or you're re relocating here, uh, maybe from another state or another country. Um, the bottom line here is it's probably safe to assume the days of attaining a 3% mortgage rate are over. Hey, you think I'm playing? question is whether that will soon be true for the 4% rates as well. I'm Catherine Newman. I'll see you at the next mortgage rate update. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can be alerted every week when a new video is available. I'll see you then.